Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Happy 726. And you all know 726 in Bible Strong's Concordance. The definition is harpazo, rapture, caught up. And that's what we're waiting, watching, and looking for. Our blessed hope in the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 118.6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Have no fear. Jesus Christ is almost here. All right, so I'm going to jump right into it. Shortly after Christina escaped, I had this dream, and I was standing by our front door, and the door was wide open, and there was three gifts by the door, and I looked to the right, and Christina was right there, and I said, what's up, lover? And I said, what are these three gifts by the front door? And she said, just grab them. We got to go. So we grabbed the gifts and went out the door. And if you remember her dream, 725 was there. And yesterday on 725, while I was editing the video, if you guys caught yesterday's video, I walked you through the Revelation 12 sign with the woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and the asteroid Yeshua under her feet with the moon. And when I was editing the video, the part that I was reading you, Revelation chapter 12, verse 2, and she being with child cried. And as soon as I said, she being with child, I heard in the spirit, look up child in Stellarium. And I laughed. And I said, Father, I highly doubt there's going to be anything named child in Stellarium. And I heard, just look it up. And I thought, all right, I'll look it up. But even if there is something named child, I highly doubt that it's anywhere near the woman. So I went into Stellarium and I was on September 19th, the day they're having the seven year deal. The day that the Revelation 12 sign happens this year. And the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet and Mars is right by her stomach. With the asteroid Yeshua, right by her feet, by the moon. So I listened to what the Holy Spirit told me. And I typed in child. And to my surprise, it was right there. And before I even clicked it, I said, there's no way it's going to be by the woman. And I clicked on it and bam, there it is, family. And it rocked me. This is the biggest gift from watching, from diligently seeking him, that he's given me. I just got hit with the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father. This is amazing, family. So, I went back to Rosh Hashanah, September 15th through the 17th. And as you can see right there, that's right when the child is born. As soon as the Feast of Trumpets starts, the child is coming out of the woman's stomach, family. I'll zoom in and show you. Right there, you can see. The child is still in her stomach on Rosh Hashanah. And when you go through the hours, you can see on Rosh Hashanah, the asteroid child comes out of the woman's stomach family. This is so gigantinormous. But it gets even bigger. So I called Daniel Taylor, all glory to our father, and told him and blew his socks off. And he was amazed. He said, you just found it, bro. And I said, all glory to our father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. So we started talking and watching and shooting epiphanies back and forth. And we realized that if the child is born on the Feast of Trumpets, then nine months ago, there had to be some type of conception. So I clicked on Yeshua and I went back nine months of pregnancy. And the Holy Spirit blew me up because nine months ago from Rosh Hashanah this year was December 15th. Exactly nine months of pregnancy is when the asteroid Yeshua was coming out of the woman's stomach. It's right here. Bam, bam. Yeshua came out of her stomach. 
And this is right when Hanukkah started, family. Imagine that. But it gets even bigger. This is stacked. This looks like the rapture. And I'm not saying that the rapture's on any date. What I'm saying is this is looking like the perfect picture biblically as the rapture. Remember, last time in September 23rd, 2017, the reason why most of the people thought that it was going to be the rapture is because Jupiter was in the woman's stomach. Well, the word says she being with child cried. The word doesn't say she being with Jupiter cried. So child coming out of her stomach on the Feast of Trumpets and the asteroid Yeshua coming out of her stomach nine months ago, like the conception, is gigantinormous, family. But it gets bigger. So I thought about the Jewish tradition. How the man goes out and prepares a place for the woman for a year and then comes back and marries her. And takes her to that place. Just like Jesus Christ said, I go to prepare a place for you. And I'm coming back to get you, to take you to that place. So I went back three months, family. Boom, boom, boom. And it's right there. And I'll go back the three days. Because Rosh Hashanah is on 915 this year. This is so amazing and magnificent. Our Father is truly a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Now imagine this. Let me paint the picture and put the pieces together. Last year, on 9-15, September 15, 2022, the asteroid Yeshua was clothing the woman with the sun. And one year later, the asteroid Yeshua is lined up with the moon by her feet. Let me go back a year again. Bam. As you can see, over a year's time, the asteroid Yeshua was lined up with the sun by her head, clothing her. And then a year later, on the Revelation 12 sign, the asteroid Yeshua is with the moon that most people say represent the bride of Christ Jesus. And remember, they are already set up a seven-year deal at the United Nations in New York. The Revelation 12 sign almost six years ago in 2017 was just the heads up, family. It wasn't actually the sign because we're still here and the stars haven't fell, but they're about to. And I've never seen a picture of the rapture visually, biblically put together like this ever. This blows the 2017 Revelation 12 sign out the water. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. For to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up, harpazoed, raptured unto God and to his throne. And that's us. We're going home. 